What's going on guys? Mike here again with another video. We're gonna do a six inch schedule 80. We're gonna do a TIG root pot and we're gonna fill it out with flux core. This test is most common in shops for combo. Now let's get to it. All right guys, so we have the coupons here already prepped up. You wanna clean the inside of the bevel, outside, and then and the bevel itself. We're gonna do a TIG root and hot, so we're not gonna put, place a landing, but we are gonna use a 316 gap today. When y'all fitting up your pipe, make sure that you have no high-low, check the inside. For any high-low, make sure everything's nice and even. All right guys, we'll start off with the root pass. I'm burning about 100 amps using the back feed method. Using a number eight cup, just cause the bevel is kinda deep. And I wanna make sure that I really get in there to keep that puddle connected. Now you wanna make sure that you keep that rod fed connected to your puddle. You wanna see that little bridge connected to your puddle at all times. Me personally, I like the back feeding method just because I know that I'm gonna get that penetration in the back that I'm gonna need. Simple up and down motion, just connecting the walls. And when you're ready to pop off, you're gonna come back up off the bevel. All right guys, so we're gonna warp the puddle. Then we're gonna introduce our rod. And continue our root pass. Remember guys, a sharp tungsten is key. You want to be able to direct that weld puddle where you want it. We're going to go all the way up to our bridge tack before we pop off. Again, come back up on the bevel. Alright guys, we're starting on the other side of the pipe, the right side. Again, on the right side, you're going to have to get a little bit uncomfortable unless you're going to weld it out with your left hand. Now, personal preference, I'll weld it out with my right just so I can give you all the best quality. It's the same thing. Make sure you keep the rod connected to the weld puddle. Keep pushing. Connect it to the walls. Stay as relaxed as you can, even though I know it can get uncomfortable. Alright guys, we're going to warm up our puddle again. Introduce our wire. Make sure we keep our wire connected. We keep feeding it, burning wall to wall. Burning about 100 amps. I'm gonna bring it all the way up to the bridge tack. I'm gonna come down and off. All right, guys. We're gonna warm up our tap, our puddle again. We're gonna warm it up. Introduce the rod. Continue our motion all the way up to the top tap. Again, still using the back feeding method. Keeping my wire connected to the puddle. Make sure you have a sharp tungsten, so your weld puddle knows exactly where it's going. If you have a dull tungsten. Puddle don't know where exactly to pinpoint and go. Keep feeding and pushing that rod. Keep your torch angle straight in the puddle. Keep your tungsten in the puddle. Now we're coming up to the tie-in. I'm gonna keep back feeding until I get close enough. Pull back, come back in, warm it up, introduce the wire. The keyhole dip. I'm gonna dip it in, warm it up. Dip it in again. 
warm it up keyhole it dip it in again warm it up dip it in again warm it up you can go all the way through to your feather fill it all the way back up with metal so it can all look like one you guys are going to warm up the tack and we're going to introduce the wire we're using ER70S2 1 8 filler metal we have a 3 16 gap on the 6 inch schedule 80 we're burning about 100 amps Make sure you keep your tungsten inside the weld puddle. Keep it nice and milky. Alright guys, I'm going to do the hot pass. Now I'm going, I'm going to freehand the hot pass. I'm going to burn at about a 160 amps using ER70S2 filler wire. I'm generally covering the root pass. Going from bevel to bevel. Keeping my wire on top. Warm up the puddle. And again, keep the wire connected because you don't want to have suck back on your root. Make sure that wire is connected. Covering your root pass. Applying nice reinforcement. Burn about 160 amps. And now since we are going to do a flux core filling cap, we are going to do two hot passes. Just for the extra reinforcement me personally I like to freehand just because it's a little bit quicker and you can move but if you like wiggling the cup by all means do it this is just my personal preference root to bevel to bevel alright guys I just switch it to my left hand just so I can stay comfortable and give you the best quality weld on this side. I'm still free handing, keeping the wire connected. Now we're going to do the first fill with flux core. I'm using 045 ESA wire. Burn it about 24.5 and 300. You want to focus your heat on the walls. You don't want to focus too much in the center because that TIG uh, root and hot could uh, have a chance of blowing through if you put too much pressure or heat. So you want to. Focus it on the walls, make sure you roll your wrist all the way around. And have leather sleeves because flux cord does burn hot. Now on the left side I did go clockwise. On the right side I'm going to go counterclockwise. Again, use a pipe wrench, vice grips, a C clamp, get comfortable on this right side. Make sure you're going bevel to bevel. We're going to cover that whole TIG pass. Now I'm going to do 50 50 to flush it out. Again, I'm burning a 
volt and 300 wire speed. I'm using 045 ESOB wire. Which one you want to have a little bit more angle aiming up? So it can stick to the top bevel. And so it can flush out. For the cap, I'm going to use drag motion, nice and steady, watching the puddle stay even all the way. I'm just dragging it across, watch my puddle stay as even as possible. Make sure I'm rolling my wrist around with the pipe. Now on the last bead you really want to puddle so you don't get undercut. Same thing for the right side. I'm going to use a drag motion. I'm going to just keep that puddle same size all the way watch, watching the bottom of the bevel. Make sure I'm rolling my wrist, keep my angle good.
All right, guys, there you have it. Six inch Schedule 80 tick root, hot, flux core filling cap. Hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, and feel free to follow me on my Instagram and my Snapchat. Peace.